1999. Big Lake, Texas. Oil country. Population 3,600. Reagan County High School is where Jim Morris, a former minor league pitcher who retired in 1989 because of injuries, is a school teacher teaching chemistry, coaching the baseball team. But his students sensed there was something missing in Mr. Morris's life. They sensed that he had an unfulfilled career, and the students told him so. You know, we love you, Coach, but uh, you're telling us all this stuff about hopes and dreams and reaching as high as you can, and you're sitting here coaching us kids and teaching in the classroom, and we know that your heart's really in baseball. Why would you have quit, and why would you not reach your full potential, and you're sitting here telling us to do one thing, and you're doing another? We kind of turned it around on him. We said, Coach, you know, we've seen you pitch. You're good. You shouldn't be coaching us. You should be playing baseball and getting paid money. And we made a promise to him that we made the playoffs, and he promised us that he would go try out for a team. He was shocked at first, and then he said, yeah, I'll, I'll do it if y'all win y'all's district. So. But we won our audition, so he had to do it. So Jim Morris tried out with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays and was signed to a contract. Fine. And they called down there in the later innings, and they told me to get up, and I was like, what? I mean, my heart started going crazy. And I thought, well, maybe I'm just going to throw a pin. And Next thing I know, phone rings. Morris in. <laughs> they opened the gate to the bullpen in left field, and I mean, all I could hear was noise and see different colored shirts and hats, and I was like, <gasps> And I'm, I could feel my heart beating against my, my shirt, and I was just like, oh, man. Last spring, Jim Morris came to spring training as a 36-year-old rookie, hoping to make the Devil Rays realize his September call-up was not a fluke. Eleven years earlier, he had quit baseball due to injuries. Now he was defying the odds, impressing the experts. How could it be that a guy who used to throw 87, 88 takes 10 years off and is a chemistry teacher and comes back and, and throws 96. Uh, the first time I was too young to appreciate anything that went on and it's taken a lot of life experience and three children and a wife and college education and teaching and coaching everything else that's gone into that to make me realize that you don't take anything for granted and you have to work for whatever you get.